All right, guys, let's take a look at the points being tracked inside VMX. Notice the points wiggling around in the background? That's because there's not enough visual information to constrain them. Notice how the points around my face are much more stable. All right, let's take a look at what happens when I move. Okay, that's not too bad. You can wave this. Let's take a look at the points being reinitialized once the tracks get destroyed. Take a look at the background here on the right. Notice that there are points. If we move very quickly, some of the points disappear, but then they reappear. If you take a careful look, you'll notice that there are no points near the boundary of the screen. Okay. So let's turn on a detector that's going to be using these points for interpolation. So what we just did is we just turned on the beat detector. We're going to make sure the beat detector only shows when the detection is above score zero so that we don't show low confidence detections. And we're going to show our hand. And we're able to track detections at a much faster rate than the core detector. This demo is currently running inside the Firefox browser on my MacBook Pro. You'll notice there are a couple of scenarios where we could make the tracker break a little bit. So we're going to try to break the tracking if we move the object too fast. Oh, yeah, you can see if we move the object too fast, we're going to lose some of the points and we're going to lose the track. Nevertheless, in most reasonable scenarios, we're still able to get a good track for the B and follow it. Now to show you what happens when we disable the tracker, we're going to hit the tracker button here until we have a little red cross. And this is showing just the detection bit running on the hand. Notice the detector is actually much slower than the interpolated track. By default, Points are not displayed, but we could still see the interpolated track. Second option is to show the points. This is a pretty, pretty cool debug visualization. And for the last little bit of the tracking demo, I'm going to turn off the detector. I'm just going to show you these points here, but we're going to hit the tracker button one more time and open up the advanced controls. So, okay, so let's, let's take a look at this tracker here. We can increase the size of the tracker. When we increase the size of the tracker, notice how the points move also with, with their background. So if, if you notice me moving my hand, the points a little bit off the hand also move. Now this slows the computation down, but in many scenarios this is necessary to follow the object. What we can do is we can make the window size extremely small, 8, and then now a lot of the points are actually chaotically jittering in the background. You can go back to a reasonable size, like 20, where some of the points are jittering and some of the others aren't. We can look at the minimum eigenvalue of the points that are displayed. Now the minimum eigenvalue means when you look at the Harris corner detection algorithm that looks at the sort of ratio of eigenvalues, we're seeing that the, the cornerness measure is throwing away a lot of these points in the background. We're going to turn on the hand here and we could do sort of something like this. This is, uh, this is pretty good. Not too, not too bad, huh? All right. We can change the number of points also being displayed. We can change, we can turn off this minimum eigenvalue. We can go a little bit extreme. 
with the points. Now we have an extreme point grid here. It's a pretty extreme sort of version, but it's pretty cool for demo purposes. In fact, let's see how many points we can generate. Uh, this is a pretty extreme version. It's actually running pretty, pretty nicely inside so the browser here. Oh, look at that. You get a little 2Bs. 2Bs are going. Nice. Not too bad. Not too bad. To download VMX, go to vision.ai and check it out. This is the V2 of VMX. Enjoy.